what's up everybody before this video begins i have to make a quick disclaimer to warn everybody so i don't know if you people know that in the trading community there's a lot of scams somebody is going around impersonating me and they're impersonating other people and before you decide to send any money to somebody or do anything like that just understand we do everything through our private website our public website tradegameofficial.com if the link is not there or it's not on one of our official social media pages then you should not trust it we do not ask people to send money we do not dm people to ask them about anything pertaining to spending any money we do not promote through the dm we do not try to sell anything through the dm and most importantly we do not dm people first because we consider that spamming you if you decided to follow a like or comment on the video we appreciate you and then out of respect for that we will not dm you okay so please keep that in mind enjoy the video salute tgo family so before i even get started let's get this out of the way you saw the little quick intro in the beginning of the video i have to put that intro in the beginning of my videos at least every now and again i have to do it please do not fall for somebody dming you pretending to be me i do not dm anybody first of course if you are getting a dm from me first before you contacted me that is not me okay um also uh you can publicly ask when you dm if that's me and i'll let you know um the only dms i won't be responding to is negative dms or dms where it seem like you just want to waste my time or any kind of trolling or any of that mess because people tend to do that okay so with that being said um the update is i have set up a waiting list in the link in the description for the live streams we're going to be doing some some um, public live streams but the public live streams will go into private live streams so if you want all of the live streams, you should sign up at the link. Uh, the chart analysis will be there. That's a separate service. The signal service of people been asking for, that's a separate service. And then the mentorship. And then you could get all of them put together. Just go to the link and you could pick what you want. If you want, if you're interested, there's a waiting list. Once I see the people signing up, um, I'll open it to you and then you could get in. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm gonna be giving away uh, five spots for people who want the signals and the discord for free in this video so just comment hey uh i would like that i would like the free service or comment something along the lines of you want the service and um make sure i know it's for the giveaway say i would like the giveaway something pertaining to that and i will pick five people or i'll just give it to the people in there if it's not five because who knows sometimes when i do this it may just be five people i don't know but i'm gonna get, let five people in and i'm gonna give it to you for that first month for free we're gonna try it and see how it is if people like it or whatever, then we'll continue it. Um, as far as the signals, I post them all the time. I post the signals from my funded account, which is this account on this screen right now. And um, I do all my trading that I do where I show it to y'all on this funded account. Uh, now, until I hear back from this broker, this private firm, I'm not gonna say what the firm is yet, because I wanna hear back from them. I wanna test them out a little bit, and then I'll let you know. Now, if you were ever interested in my brokers that I'm using, right? They're on the website, just like everything else. They're all on the website. Any prop firms that I'm dealing with currently, they're gonna be on the website. I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm using these one, two, three, four, five, six, how many ever. I try to keep it about round five, no more on the broker side and the prop firm side and the future side. I try to keep it within the range of five. So no more than probably 15, five per platform. Um, options, I'm not really trading options at the moment. I started out with options. I started out with futures and then I ended up with Forex and that's where I kind of stayed. Okay. So for people who don't know that, yes, I traded futures before in 2019, I was trading options and futures. Okay. People don't know my background. Don't know that I tried everything. So let's get into it. So right now, GJ is currently doing a downtrend and we're going to get straight into the analysis for those who want to see this. Uh, and this is how I'm going to be doing my um, ch live chart analysis. And I'm going to be sending out pictures in the discord as well. Last time I, I gave out a nice little gold play and people were uh, talking about it after it. Like I didn't I didn't even waste my time. I felt like I wasted my time. So if y'all want this stuff, let me know and I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll give y'all my ideals on the entries because y'all know I'm swing trading. So everything is going to be on a one hour and it's going to be based off the one hour price action. Now, I am trading one minute and five minute charts, but I'm not going to um post those because I don't want to be sitting there all day so i'm gonna do it on the one hour so when you get a signal it's gonna be on a one hour and it's gonna be a swing trade and the stop loss is gonna be 30 pips okay so that's how i like to trade on a one hour i don't like to risk too much and i like to swing i like to swing for 250 off 30 pips 
that's my formula so as you can see uh through the period separator gj has been downtrending for a while and if you pay attention to the current moment if you paid to, atten to attention as of thursday right gj started to recover from this downtrend and if you pay attention to my indicators we are under this blue, uh, blue line which is the 200 moving average that's the strongest moving average i already did tons of videos talking about it i won't do it here if you want to know more sign up for the mentorship or get the course and i'll explain all of this in detail for you there so uh this is the 200 we're under the 200 meaning that um we're we're still in a very strong downtrend if we're under that 200. now these other two uh moving averages are confirming what i'm telling you the lower the lower low was made on thursday and then a higher low was made on friday meaning that when you see this price action where you see the low go lower and lower we're in a downtrend that is strong once you start seeing the low go higher then that is a confirmation that we are not trending down as much as we used to okay so for people who don't understand how to identify a uh trend reversal always look at what the low or high is doing if you're in a downtrend i'm going to explain it i'm gonna give you out a source here for free if you are in a downtrend if you see that the low is the lowest it's been and then the next low is higher that means that that is a confirmation that your downtrend has been changing into an uptrend if you look at the moving averages they crossed twice going up that's two confirmations the low is higher on the next day which is last friday today is sunday right that's another confirmation that their trend is reversing what is your next and final confirmation the next and final confirmation well there's always more confirmations but the next and final to make a trinity of confirmations is when this price right here opens today if it's above these moving averages that is three confirmations that gj is buying if it was to go above these two moving averages i would enter for a buy and i would be expecting to swing it to one of these levels here the level that i see let me see if um i can use my pen to point it out to y'all let me see what level do i see i i will see i'm gonna show you where i would expect price to hold on this is where i would expect price to to give up a fight it's doing something i don't want it to do that's in a way uh i'm looking for the symbols on mt4 uh let's do a triangle this is where it's kind of clear to me that this level there's something going on here okay this is the level that's the level there is a situation here on a one hour that i see that is acting as a resistance now here's what i would expect if price was to break this area where it's currently at let me put another symbol there hold on i'm using i'm using this this marquee to do it hold on let's do it one more time giving y'all that source people if price breaks so right here where it's at when price opens if it is above this this top resistance level if it goes above this level that i created which is that let's 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 call the price out let's do it properly let's call the price out for y'all so y'all can understand what i'm saying okay i got it already so okay it's on the chart if price is let's put it right here if price is at 198.547 i will expect to buy from 198 remember this number 198 547 all the way up to 200 where this 200 line is you see where the 200 is at i would i would buy all the way up to the 200 and then if it tests the 200 i would be looking at that as my tp now here's the next thing if it breaks above the 200 i would take another position and my tp would be if it was a break here the next level i see i could see it already this is all supply and demand by the way for people who don't know i gotta get that off of there all right now i don't know how to get it off because it's on there i think i could do it right there boom okay um my next level would be i can already see where the next level would be it's gonna go here here 
here. Where did it act up? Okay, this is the next level, clearly. All right, that's the next level right there. Um, and let's make it a little wider to make it accurate. Yeah, right to this candle right there. This candle right there. That would be my next level. So I would be looking for price. Sorry, let me put this back. Hold on, let me check this message real fast. Yeah, my sister warning me about something. Um, that would be my next level. So I would look for price to break above these moving averages that I marked at this zone right here at nine at one nine seven nine three nine to go to this next level and not one nine eight point four seven five. If price was to hit there, I would be buying and I would be buying all the way up until the 200 mark where the 200 moving average is at. And this is why um, I keep my trading simple. Um, the RSI is kind of, if you look at it down here, the RSI is in the middle, meaning it could go either direction. But the reason that I'm thinking it's gonna go up to test the 200 is simply because uh, I'm gonna I'm mark another zone for y'all, for y'all to look at and understand, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all, baby. I'm gonna show y'all how to get this, man. I'm gonna show y'all how to get this. All this right here is a zone, okay? This is really the level, okay? Price doesn't wanna pass there, as we see. Now, if market opens and price is down here, this would be your entry to get into another trade. Let me let me stick this out a little more. All right. So that's what we got to look at for our areas of concern. All right. So if price, if price is at that bottom level that I created, when the market opens, you got to look and see if it's gonna break that level and go down. If it breaks that level and go down. That means the trend is not respecting the reversal and it's still going down. Now, normally it would be a pullback, but the reason that you know it's not necessarily just a pullback is like I said, the low. The low of the day for the last day was higher than the day before. So if Thursday the low is down here and then Friday the low is up here, the low is actually higher, right? Than it was the previous day, meaning that the trend is now occurring. You're seeing a reversal occur. Price is trying to go test the 200, which is what it normally would do on GJ. And you should be taking advantage of that by looking to buy into it. And that is our um, analysis for GJ. So I will be looking for buys at market open. I will wait for uh, my confirmations to play out. Let's see when a market opens, if it's down here at this bottom or if it's up here around above these moving averages, okay? So above these moving averages we're buying, if it's down here where this box is that you see me moving, I would be looking for price to break below that low there. If it breaks below that, it is definitely still downtrending. Because remember, at the end of the day, the 200 is the biggest confirmation of a trend you'll ever find on this chart. And that's definitely gonna um, let you know that this is still downtrending. If you really wanna get a clearer look, you will go to the four hour. And boom, you see how much clearer it is? If you pay attention to the four hour, Look at what the 200 did to these other two moving averages. It crossed it, co confirming a down trend. It confirmed a death cross. This is what we call a death cross. When two small moving averages cross a big moving average and the trend is going in that same direction as the cross, that is called a golden cross or a death cross. We are definitely in a death cross on a GJ. And as you can see, the RSI is down here too, right? Now, a lot of people look at these RSIs and they say, hey man, it's at its lowest point. And as you can see, that's true. It sold off its lowest point. But what people don't know about RSIs is this lowest point could continue to always go down and continue to be a low point. So you just want to use uh, confluences and confirmation. Now, if you pay attention on the four hour, you see how that little box I made at the bottom? It's just a wick. It's just a wick. Meaning price is really, really not there. And price is really trying to uh, test that 200, like I said. But if you look at the four hour, this is just a pullback. Now, if you go to the one hour, this looks like it's a little bit of a reversal. But like I said, momentum is everything. And if on a four hour, that momentum is not dominant as it is on a one hour, that means we're still downtrending. And that's why I told you guys, look at this one hour and look at the bottom, bottom level that we created and see if price goes there. Because when the market opens, it may be there already because the market still moves even though the, we can't trade and see the live chart, the market is still moving while we're waiting for it to open, okay? So we have to see if price is down here, which I suspect it might actually be down here when, when the market opens, okay? So remember, 
I'm gonna just do DJ GJ for now because I don't want to make the video long and just be going through my charts. I'll start separating my analysis for each pair and I'll start doing this if people want me to. Uh, if you want to know how I take my trades, like I said, for me, um, more than likely, I'm going to be taking this sell down to this level if it's not there or this buy at this level where it's currently at. It's perfect for either entry. Whatever way it's going to go, it's going to do a retest. So it doesn't really matter if you stay in a trade or not. Now, for a swing trade, this ain't the setup for that. This is the setup for you to take whatever the market's going to give you. This is a different setup that we're going for. So what we're going for is a buy if price is under the moving averages, a sell if price is above the moving averages. But we can look at the four hour and see that we still want to sell. OK, so overall, we are still selling on GJ. So we probably going to be looking to sell most importantly of all. OK, based off the four hour chart, um, we've been selling for, for uh, three days and we started our sell on Wednesday based off the periods I'm looking at. And uh, we continued from Wednesday, Thursday to Friday. And Friday, we just had like a little pullback. So if I was a GJ trader, which I am, I'm gonna be watching the sales right now. I'm not gonna be watching the buys because any buy is just a retest. Any buy we look at is because price is trying to retest another level, fill a gap or whatever y'all, whatever methods y'all wanna use to call it that. So just remember, overall, we're in a downtrend. We should be looking for sales. Always respect the trend. Always follow the price. Always follow the money. Um, this is Jimmy, your trading coach. I'm not your guru. I ain't your teacher, I ain't your master. I'm just trying to coach y'all through for those who need that little extra help and motivation. I need to just see their positions a little clearer. So I'm just trying to coach y'all. That's all I'm trying to offer y'all here. I ain't no financial expert, none of that. So like I said, respect the price, respect the banks, respect the market. If the market is selling, don't be up here trying to get fancy and buy and do what these dudes is telling you to do because they be li li liquidating you to the broker for money. And I'm, I'm not even gonna get no deeper than that. If you don't know what I'm saying, just watch my previous videos. I get into a lot of details about all of the conspiracy nonsense. Bottom line is there's money to be made whether you win or lose. Always remember that. A losing trader is a profitable trader to the person who sent them there. Always remember that. Always remember what I just said. A losing trader is still somebody that can make a, a person money if you get sent somewhere to lose. All right, so that's it. Respect the market, respect the trend, follow the trend, follow the banks, follow the hedge funds, follow the market makers, whatever term you wanna use. People come up with all these weird ideas of who these are, the Illuminati, whatever. Follow whatever they're doing. If they are pushing price down, they are trying to get, let me explain this and then I'm gonna leave the video here. Let me give you a jump. Why do they do that? Why is this manipulation here? People people look at it and think it's a, a bad thing, this, that, or third. This is business. If I've been, if I got people, I'm, I'm, I'm there coming to me, hey, we have a hundred million dollars. We need to make money in the market. You take some of that money, you push the market in a certain direction. Once the market is in that direction, you enter the position. Once you enter that position, the market is now pushed the other way. If I take 10 million, put it in the market and push it down, I put 40 million in the market and push it up. I just made 100 million off the 50. I got another 50. I walk away with 150. My, my investor now has $150 million, meaning I just put 50% of their money and invested it and flipped it off of 10% of their money. So if that doesn't make sense, just once again, I'm gonna repeat it slower. You come to me with $100 million, I put 10 million in the market, I push the price to a certain direction, then I put another 50 in, now I'm risking 60. We push the market, I get 160 back, I'll pull out, now the market's gonna drop again. They move the market around because that is how they make money. So what you wanna do as a retail trader, even though what I just said doesn't even matter to you, you want to be able to identify those movements and follow that money. You don't want to be trading against it. You don't want to be trying to be fancy. You don't want to be trying to figure out if you go to this time frame, that time frame, this time frame, can you enter the other way? No. If those, if they're showing you that that's what they're doing, which they're showing us that they're trying to push the price down, you want to be trying to enter the sell it with them. You want to follow them, not fight them. You want to follow them. You want to be their friend. They got the big money. They make the big candles. You want to profit off those big candles, 
by doing what they're doing, following them, okay? So that's why we make indicators here and robots here for you to identify these moves and positions. And this is why I'm giving you a manual strategy right here. I'm not even showing you because my robot's gonna do it regardless. But for those of you who don't have the robots who wanna understand how I'm able to code them that way, I'm explaining it to y'all here right now for free. I'm telling y'all the truth here for free. I'm not giving you the nonsense where you could go lose a trade and I get paid. This is what happens. So if you wanna make your trading easier to do and understand and make it simpler on yourself, simply follow price, don't fight it. Once again, five people, I'm gonna give you the signals for free. The same strategy that you see on this chart is what the signals are gonna be made off of. If you don't know about my signals, um, let me just do this. I'm gonna show y'all right now. I'm gonna remote key into, I'm gonna remote key into my computer. I'm gonna show y'all live so y'all can see it on this screen what my signals are doing and I'm gonna get five of y'all access to the room. Every time a signal is taken, I was editing a music video here by the way, for those who don't know, I edit music videos. I was working on a video. So um, let's go to my funded account. Okay, this is my funded account guys. This is my funded account and you see all those positions right there that's in blue. All those blue positions are the winning trades that I'm holding from last week. Now, you're gonna get access to that for free. Now, let me explain how I work this. So on this trade, we have, we're currently floating 3,600 pips, okay? We're currently floating 3,600 pips in profit. Now, here's how this works. Every day, we're gonna take a trade on a one hour chart. When we take the trade on a one hour chart, it's going to be a 30 pip risk. Any trades that hit 30 pips, you lose those. Any trades that's winning, if we have some losses for the day, I'm going to close one of the winning trades. That's going to cover the losses and give you some profit every day. Just to make sure that y'all close every day with some profit. Now, is this going to work every single day? It may not, but it works. it's been working for me for a long time. So I'm going to give y'all access to it so y'all can see how it works. And if you want to take the trades, take them or whatever. Um, you know, you may miss some trades and all that. So I'm not responsible for what you do. If I don't know how you got it set up, I don't know. I'm not gonna uh, trade for nobody. And I'm not gonna trade copy for nobody. I'm gonna give you access to my trades and you get to see them for yourself. All right, so five people leave a comment saying, hey, I would like the giveaway and I'm gonna pick five people and give it to you. All right, and then y'all have access to all the trades come starting today. The, the time of seeing the video, as soon as y'all get it, I'm gonna pick five people. And as soon as I get five people, I'm gonna pick them and I'm gonna give it to them and y'all gonna be in there with me. And next week I'm gonna be trading, I'm gonna start going live. I'm gonna start showing y'all these things that I'm doing just like I broke down this GJ trade. When I enter my next position on GJ, I will come back and update y'all and let y'all know. So follow me on Instagram too, cause sometimes I do it there cause it's just simple to point my camera at the screen and show y'all the trade rather than doing a whole production. I'm out of here, this video's been long enough, peace.